क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टीन टेम्परेचर्स ऑफ जंक्शन ऑफ बिस्मत सिल्वर थर्मोकेटल आर मेंटेन एट जीरो डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड एंड जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो वन डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड फाइंड द थर्मो एमएफ दैट इज सी बैक एमएफ डेवलप फॉर बिस्मत सिल्वर ए इक्वल माइनस फोर्टी सिक्स इंटू टेन पावर माइनस सिक्स पर डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड एंड P equal to minus zero point four eight into ten to the power minus six root per degree centigrade square. So we know that C B E M F equals A theta plus half. P theta square, where theta is temperature of hot junction. So here theta is given as zero point zero zero one one upon one thousand degree centigrade. We can put the level A equal to minus forty six into ten to the power minus six into one upon one thousand plus. B equal to minus zero point eight ten to the power minus six into one upon thousand square. So if we simplify it, we will get minus four point six into ten to the power minus eight. Now let's go to next question. Question number fourteen. Find the thermal EMF developed in a copper silver thermal when the junctions are kept at zero degree centigrade and forty degree centigrade. So we are given these values. Thermal E equal to A theta plus R B theta. Square here copper silver. So this is copper with the respect to lead. This is silver with the respect to lead. So value of A will be difference of the two. So two point seven six minus two point five zero power ten to the power. Multiplied by ten to the power minus six times theta, theta is forty degree plus one by two b. Difference of these two, so this will be zero times forty degree square. So we can simplify it. This term will become zero. So we will get one point zero four into ten to the power minus five. Now consider question number fifteen. Find the neutral and temperature of inversion for copper iron thermocouple. Reference temperature is zero degree centigrade. We are given the value. Now we know that neutral temperature is negative of A upon B. So. We can write A copper or B. So for value of copper with respect to lead is this, and for value of iron with respect to lead is this. So difference of the two. So minus of two point seven six minus sixteen point six into ten to the power minus six. So what the value of B? Then zero point zero one two. Minus is this minus sign so this become plus zero point zero three zero into ten to the power minus six and with degree centigrade. So if we evaluate it, so this will become three twenty eight point five seven degree centigrade. And if you remember. This is theta n, and this is theta i, and uh, this is value of fluid junction. 
So this gap between jets is supposed to be X. So if we double this temperature, this is temperature of neutral point, we will get temperature of inversion. So theta I is double of 3 to 8.57, and uh, that will be equal to 6, 5, 9 degrees centigrade. Now, question 16, find the charge required to go through an electrolyte to liberate one atom of monovalent and divalent. We can say easily that if one atom of monovalent is required, then charge must be one coulomb. And sorry, charge must be one electronic charge. And if it is divalent, then charge must be two electronic charge. So for this purpose, it will be 1.6 to to the power minus 19 coulomb. And for this purpose, it will be twice of 1.6 into the to the power minus 28 coulomb. Now, so let's calculate it. So number of atoms in one mole is 6.0 into 10 to the power 23. So we can say Faraday's number. Here Faraday constant is 96500 coulomb per mole. So we can say 96500 coulomb charge is required to liberate this much atoms. We have 2, 2 into 10 to the power 23 atoms. So for one atom, for one atom, charge needed equal to 96500 divided by 6.022 into 10 to the power 23. So that will become charge on one electron, one point 10 to the power minus 5 coulomb. Similarly, for divalent, we can find equivalent mass first. So it will be half of molar mass. So it will be equal to one by two in the in the text half of that values, one by two of six point zero two two into ten to the power twenty two. And then we can say for this one by two into six point zero two two into ten to the power twenty three atoms need charge nine six five zero zero coulomb therefore one atom will require nine six five zero zero into two divided by six point zero two two into ten to the power twenty three. So that will be equal to twice of electronic charge to the ground, 2 into 1.6 is 10 power minus 19 to the That is 3.2 into 10 to the power minus 19 to the And that is our answer. Thank you for watching.